And I don't think the Dark Harvest is worth the damage for the survivability that he trades away. I wonder if I would, would be higher ELO if I didn't have a toaster. Probably not. But it's just like a correlation in the sense of like, uh, most people, as you get like higher ELO, like care more about, usually care more about gaming and spend a lot more time on their com like computer. So they invest more money into it. <sighs> team fights are actually pretty hard for me to operate there's not too many champions on the enemy team that will be clumped quite frequently and um oriana alt's always going to be a threat to kill me like, I'm pretty sure my mid laner is going to die, like, 15 times in this game, so I'm going to have to offset that, like, pretty hard. Actually mind committing my ward early anytime he channels the hook I want to make sure that I'm always walking into the minion wave that way they block for me he'll probably walk up for the ranged minion once uh, the wave crashes so he's actually doing a good job of juking but he's kind of getting auto attacked for it see every time that guy goes forward tries the hook I just make sure that I walk in and I get, uh, get into the minion wave, so it's way harder for them to get me. This guy's trolling. Should be able to stun on that. Strip and ignite him. That's not enough damage. I needed a little bit more. I needed the ignite to go off faster, but I wasn't in range. Because the ignite actually needed to mitigate the heal. Oof. Just wait for him to start CSE and then throw out the Q. It's way safer that way. Oh wow, he actually got that damage. Surprise. Alright, well I definitely want to drink a pot, start topping myself off so I can continue to pressure in this lane. W when he starts channeling his Q because he can't move. He should reset here. Oh, he's not. Interesting. Dumb, but interesting. Well, I guess I'll just play past the wave and drink another pot. He channels the hook. I run to the minions. <sighs> Just W him again. I've actually taking more damage from the turret than I have a player. I'm just gonna auto attack these. Get it to the turret. And then I wanna get my spell these procs and then I just wanna reset. It's a dumb spot to reset. Especially since now I have to basically sit here and make sure I defend his back. You really think you can get anything done here, bro? Because all you're, all you're doing is sit, holding my L for me, baby. It's a lot of HP to lose. What's the best champion to climb at the moment as support? It's probably Nami.
I've waited long enough. I can just heal the rest of the mana. I'm actually surprised that my mid laner has like decent CS at all, so not even really that torn up that he ended up dying. I fucked up this route. I think I could have gotten something done here if I had walked around. Their pike will be back by the time I get any position to flank him. I'm just gonna take the brush over. Oh wow, he wasn't willing to give he wasn't willing to use his E. He actually ended up flashing there. I'm gonna just ward across right now. Should be a pretty easy kill here. I'm actually just gonna strip uh going on that guy. I think I need one more auto before he dies. Nice, my AD carry killed theirs. I just made a conscious decision to kill the AD carry rather than bothering with uh, the pike. It didn't really matter to me. I'm gonna just get my spell thief stacks and then I'll reset too. It's always a good habit to get these, especially if you score a kill or push people out of the lane. It's a lot of excess gold and it makes you way faster on your spell thief's quest. Definitely Leandri's game, but I want to get my boots first just so I can dodge skill shots a little bit better and reposition, especially since the Caitlyn still has no flash. I just use my flash. Why is Nami the best? Her skills are just super easy to use without being good. Literally take, you can take bubble off your bar and Nami is still a really great champion right now. She kind of took the spot of uh, Janna. Like you use the W and E to like kind of do what Janna shield used to do, which is like steroid power up your teammate. Then you just use the wave as like the kind of the tornado and ulti combo. Well, I mean, if he face checks this, then he's gonna lose a lot of HP. And then I can just retake the brush. I'm almost 6 too, so if he tries to contest it again, he'll just die. Alright, well, they're mostly walking towards their jungle, so. I don't wanna walk up if they're walking to their jungler. Yeah, plus AD carries are like really strong right now. That guy's just dead. I don't need to do anything about that. I don't have to shit shit. Should I be buy tier on Nami or is it a waste? I like tier on Nami. A lot of people have told me that they enjoy it too, so they don't have near the mana constraints. But some people have also said that they don't feel like they need it at all. I think it's personal preference. It's not really a right or wrong answer. You'll definitely put yourself behind in terms of your items for it, so make sure that you actually like utilize the fact that you have like a lot of mana to dip into. Otherwise it won't be a valuable buy. I think this turret's actually just gone. Oh man, I can't believe I actually missed that. I'm also just trying to create pressure and push them back over and over again. Definitely want to cover his back too, that way he gets a good reset in. You prioritize getting the support item upgrade or tier on her? Definitely always want your support upgrade item no matter what. 
just gonna upgrade to Sorks right here. I'm gonna wait for uh, Ruby Crystal too, just to be a bit tankier. It builds into the Leandries anyway, so there's no harm, no foul in getting this item. What build is best? Uh, you want Athenes into Ardent pretty much every game. And you should always go the Athenes first. No ifs, ands, or buts, actually. Your jungler seems to be top right now. I'm not really sure I can get anything done in mid, so... I'm definitely okay with running to top. My jungler is going for the dragon. Interesting. Just go for this turret. Wait for the turret, guys. Hmm. Apparently following pings is too difficult for some people. Should have been an easy like four man four man rotate to the turret. Uh you can just establish a line here. You can dash, right? I should have aimed that a little bit differently. I'm just gonna keep hitting him. Oh, I didn't get a three stack. That was really weird. I did take like all of his HP though, and I don't particularly mind laning here. Should be able to W him right there. You can just keep drinking potions. This guy's incredibly low on HP now. He's diveable. What are you doing, bro? Can do me too. Hit him on a stun. Oh, I wonder why that guy's so afraid of. I literally took like 80% of that guy's health for him. And he's like running away the entire time. That's some troll ass shit for sure. No flash. Go. Should just jump on the guy who has no flash. I don't know what that guy's doing. Should probably stay away from him. He doesn't seem to have any hands. Still wasn't too bad. We ended up getting mid turret for all of that. Plus my AD carry is farming really well. I think Kha'Zix... Hopefully he doesn't die there. Nice. At least he didn't die. God bless. Is to do a team help or bot lane? You like to pick Brandon too. I like playing against like a ton of tanks. Front to back fights feel really good on a champion like Bran, where you can just like AOE the entire time. Uh, I'm gonna play in their bot side jungle then. Just stay away from my jacks like the plague. Oh, I had a really bad read on that. You might try to hook me here. Oh man, you hate to see it, guys. I hope you like that ulti, by the way. Well, that was pretty XD, I'm not gonna lie. Dodging the hook was kind of expected, but the XD part is the fucking miss stun. I got him with a nice try. <laughs> uh. Alright, well I'll start moving away over to the top side right now. So I can reinforce my uh, misfortune. We can definitely stay over here and look for a catch. Their jungler's not going to come over to it, so it should just be ours. 
I'm gonna dump a three combo cycle on that. Mm, I'm hoping he can get out. Nice, at least he got out. I think what I do is I just eat him. Well, he ended up giving his flash on his ultimate, so it's definitely a pretty positive scenario for me. I'll take it. Hmm. Oh man, this guy's trolling. We have Ocean Dragon. Ocean heals. Gotta make sure I keep cutting away. Uh, who am I looking at potential? I did a good job juking there. Oh, I caught him on his, uh... I caught him on his whatever. His channeling stun, so it's pretty easy for me to kill that guy. I'm actually just gonna walk behind him. Oh, never mind. I ran over a ward. Well, I guess I have no choice but to take this farm. Just unlucky. Alright, we'll reset off that. I have my Leandrias, which is pretty good for me. Start doing a ton of damage. Then we'll start working on the Rylize part of the build. Brand, take, don't take CS, or I'll leave the game. People threaten to leave for like literally the most like XD shit ever. Like that Caitlyn that was like mad that we were walked over to Baron and he killed himself and he was like, if anyone defends that Baron call, I'm leaving. <laughs> <sighs> well, I can start making my way over to this fight, but I'm a little, I'm a little bit slow. No, I really wanted to steal that. No, I really wanted to steal that even more than I wanted to steal the last one. No, I really wanted to steal everything. And I stole nothing. That blows. Alright, well. Might as well just get vision around the bottom side right now since I'm already kind of here. I guess we'll run over to that. Actually does a lot of damage. He's AP. If he walks up though, he's probably dead. I think we can keep pushing. Mighty carry is creating pressure on the other side of the map. Oh, unfortunately I'm actually with the jacks, so I'm gonna have to play a little bit differently. Hmm. Yeah, it's not in range. Definitely like to look for a pick. It's kind of curious if the W finished it off with Leandries in my passive. Got my answer to that one. Oh, I wasn't quite in range of that one. The W should handle the rest of the damage that I needed though. Yes, I stole it. I actually didn't realize he'd be in range. Oh, well. Can definitely go for the mid turret now. It's super low on HP. Aatrox probably comes from there. Oh, no, actually, he's not even in range. Alright, we just keep going then. There's no reason to stop. Money, 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 money. Money. Alright, you got him, Turbo.
Mostly just want to step up to protect him. I don't, he's not very tanky, so making sure that he doesn't get pelted too hard is important. Just stole that CS? Fuck yeah, bud. I'm stealing all the CS. I'm a CS bandit over here. I'm pretty close to the Rylas, if I'm not at it. Nice, I do have it. Let me just want to make sure we grab some pinks for the Baron Pit. Run down mid. Nice, Jax killed himself. Smurfing. Can't win with this fucking team. Alright, time to establish some vision around Baron. Can't even imagine there probably being more than one or two wards. There's just a random ward on Baron. I want to go for this ward though, because my super is about to expire. Damn. I can probably sneak a ward in here. It's a little risky, but... What's the point of living if you can't live dangerously? Hmm. I don't know why I didn't use Ignite there. Oh, come on, we got it. Oh, you're dead too. Oh, that sucks. You do Baron now. Easy, Baron. Um. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't use it, right? Doesn't matter how my combo goes, all that matters is, is that my combo ends, or my combo doesn't start with a W, because you get bonus damage from your W when they're ablaze. As long as you do that, it doesn't really matter how much, like, how you do your combo for neutral objectives. Because this gets 25% more damage when targets are blazed. Actually, I need the pink ward less than I need that. Alright. Let's just group. Where am I from? My mother's womb. Hmm, I seem to have everyone else on the other side of the map. Do I just rage split push as the brand? Is that what's going to happen right now? Because I think I'm about that point in the game. Ryo's effect looks cool. Yeah, it definitely has like a very visually appealing uh, thing going on. Nice, my teammate ran under the turret and killed himself. Oh nice, my other teammate killed himself too. Apparently the Baron buff also means that you should just die. You should just suicide over and over again. This W on that should be a pretty guaranteed kill. Get out of the range. Bro, come on, like, haven't you died a bunch? Oh, that guy's definitely walking forward. I've got the Ocean Dragon kind of doing a lot of the work for me. Can't imagine a mean into me. Oh, well, I guess I am. I'm just the rage splitting brand right now. Can't stop, won't stop, guys. I just need to be in minions, so it's like really hard for him to hit me. I think you're dead, bud. Yeah, you are dead. If I'm in the minions, his E can't hit me. Then I'm safe. Oh man, that was smurf. Oh man, I'm fucking running over a goddamn trap. Aw, oh, never mind, it was just a bait. It was a debate to get them to stack on top of each other. Okay, whole enemy team is dead apparently. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, it's one of the things that happen in these games is too much. <laughs> Can't win this, this fucking shit team! 
dies in the fountain.